Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to solve four very interesting questions based on operational amplifier circuits. Before I start with solution, I want you to try all those questions first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. So let me show those questions first to you. This is first one. Please the video in between. This is second question. This is third question. And this is fourth question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I am going to solve first question over here. See with first question what is given you see. We have been given with operational amplifier circuit and for which we need to find voltage gain. So if you observe this circuit we have negative feedback and we give input at non-inverting terminal. And for this circuit, we need to find voltage gain. So I have already explained you voltage gain calculation for non-inverting configuration. See gain for non-inverting configuration that is 1 plus RF by R1 for negative feedback. This is what I have already derived, right? Here what is RF? RF is 2 kilo ohm. What is R1? R1 is 1 kilo ohm. So gain is 1 plus 2 that is 3. So here we have negative feedback with non-inverting configuration gain is 1 plus RF by R1. Simply that is how one can solve the question. Let us have second question over here. In second question we will calculate output voltage based on circuit given to us. So here if you observe we have been given with negative feedback and input is given at inverting terminal. We need to find output voltage over here. So we have negative feedback with inverting configuration. So what is the gain equation? Gain is minus RF by R1 that I have already derived, right? For inverting configuration with negative feedback, gain is minus RF by R1. Here RF is 4 and R1 that is 1. So gain over here that is minus 4. Now we have gain. So we can easily calculate V out based on input voltage. So what is V out? V out is gain into input. Gain is minus 4. Input is 2 voltage. So output will be minus 8 voltage. Now here if you observe see minus VEE that is more than this. So this output is possible over here, right? Let us move on to third question now. Now with third question, let us increase complexity a bit. If you observe the question, we are dealing with to find range of voltage gain for given circuit. So here with this circuit, we have negative feedback and here input is given at inverting terminal. If you observe here, this resistance that is varying from 1 to 4 kilo ohm. So here we need to find range of voltage gain. See, gain equation for inverting configuration that I have already derived that is minus RF by R1. Here R1 that is varying from 1 to 4 kilo ohm. So here gain also will change with respect to change in this resistance. So here let us consider a cases for R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm. Let us identify gain. So here gain GI1 or R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm. We will be having minus RF is fixed that is 4 divided by R1 that is 1 right now. So gain is minus 4 right now with R1 is equals to 1 kilo ohm. And if you change R1 value to 4 kilo ohm, we will be having different gain. So now consider R1 is equals to 4 kilo ohm and for which what is the gain? Gain GI2 that will be minus RF by R1, RF is 4 and R1 is also 4 right now. So gain will be minus 1 over here. So you can say based on this change in resistance, 
gain will vary in between minus 4 to minus 1. Right. So here gain changes in between minus 4 to minus 1. Now I am going to solve final and fourth question. This fourth question is quite interesting as well as it is tricky. This question cannot be solved directly by equations which we have derived it in my earlier videos. Why? The reason is here we have two different categories of feedbacks. You see here we have negative feedback and here we have positive feedback. So as we have negative and positive feedbacks, one cannot use direct equations which we have used it over here, right? So now how to solve this question? So before you start with solution, there are few basic things that you should know. See we have negative feedback over here. Because of negative feedback, voltage at inverting terminal and voltage at non-inverting terminal that should be same. What it means at inverting terminal voltage is Vn and at non-inverting terminal voltage is Vp both should be same. Why the reason is negative feedback is given to us. Let me note it down. So Vn that is equals to Vp. Now what is second thing that you need to understand? See with this op-amp input impedance that is very high. As input impedance is very high current inside this terminal that has to be negligible relatively. So if I say current inside this branch is IB1 so that has to be 0 and current inside this branch if I say it is IB2 so that has to be 0. These currents are not 0 practically but it is negligible that's why we are assuming this. Right. Now to determine voltage Vn, Vp and V out, we need to understand how current will flow in this circuit. See here because of this source current will be flowing like this towards output side. Let me show it to you. See current that will be flowing like this towards output side. If I say this current is I1 then see in this loop current will be I1. Why the reason is at this branch current is 0 and from output here we have ground so current will be flowing like this right and this current will be I2 why the reason is here in this branch current is 0 so through 40 ohm and through 10 kilo ohm current will be I2 only right so now what I'll do is I'll be writing KVL equations for loop I1 and loop I2. So if you apply KVL in I1 then you see this 9 voltage that is happening from minus to plus so I need to write plus 9 over here and in this loop second voltage is V out right. So V out obviously that is happening from plus to minus so I need to write minus VO that is equals to now in this loop see this resistance is 50 kilo ohm through which current is I1. So 50 I1 that I am writing, I am keeping that in terms of 50 only. The reason is I will be considering current over here that will be there in terms of milliampere, right. And through 20 kilo ohm current is I1, so potential will be 20 I1 over here. So based on this, now one can have equation like 9 minus V out that is equals to 70 I1, right. Now we have one equation. To have second equation based on I2, let us apply KVL in loop I2. So here in this loop, if you observe here we have V out. So that will be happening from minus to plus in this direction. So I need to write V out over here. And here current is getting grounded. So there is no another terminal where we have voltage. Right, that is equals to, now in this loop, we have 40 kilo ohm resistance through which current is I2. So 40 I2 and another resistance is of 10 kilo ohm plus 10 I2 that I need to write. So here we have equation that is V out that is equals to 50 I2. So now we have two essential equations. See this is equation 1. This is equation 2, right. 
now we will be using this equation and we will be using concept of vn is equals to vp right so we need to make equations based on vn and vp now how to have equations based on vn and vp so to have equation based on vn i'll be considering 50 kilo ohm resistor right so across 50 kilo ohm potential difference is 9 minus vn right 9 minus vn and that has to be how much current through this that is i1 into 50 kilo ohm so 50 i1 so here we have equation based on vn right now to have equation based on vp let us consider 10 kilo ohm resistor so across 10 kilo ohm here we have potential vp here we have ground so current is there in this direction so vp minus 0 so vp that is equals to current through this is i2 so i2 into 10 kilo ohm right so now we have equations based on vn and vp right and if you observe see we have i1 and i2 equations as well right so based on these two equation first i will make sure we should be having equation based on vn only so vn is how much vn is 9 minus 50 i1 and vp is this right now you see we we have an idea about what is vn and vp both are same right why the reason is we have negative feedback so here we have vn we have vn that is equals to vp and what is vn vn is 9 minus 50 i1 and that is equals to vp vp is 10 i2 now you see here we have i1 and i2 right so we need to substitute value of i1 and i2 i1 is how much 9 minus v0 divided by 70 and here we have i2 what is i2 i2 is v0 by 50 so now we have this equation in which v0 is unknown so we'll be having value of v0 right so let us simplify this see here we have 9 minus 9 into 50 divided by 70 minus minus plus v0 into 50 divided by 70 that is equals to v0 divided by 5 right so here we will be having 9 minus 9 into 50 divided by 70 that is equals to you just take this on other side so you'll be having v0 into 1 by 5 minus 5 by 7 so if you resolve this you will be having v0 right you just solve this in calculator this divided by this so we'll be having v0 value let me check what is my answer over here my answer for v0 that is minus 5 voltage so i'm having v0 that is equals to minus 5 voltage right now if you observe see we have vp and vp is 10 i2 where i2 is v0 by 50 so if you substitute this over here you will be having vp and vp is equals to vn right so let me explain you how to have it see vn that is equals to vp what is vp vp is 10 i2 vp is 10 i2 right and i2 is how much v0 by 50 so just substitute that i2 is how much v0 by 50 right so vn is equals to vp that is v0 by 5 where v0 is minus 5 so v0 by 5 where v0 is minus 5 so you can say vn is equals to vp is minus 1 voltage right so that is how simply we can solve this but here you need to understand process see what is the process process is to have equation based on i1 and i2 and those equations are there based on two basic fundamentals fundamental one says what it states that here vn and vp both are equal why the reason is we have negative feedback and second fundamental is what here current inside terminal 1 and 2 that has to be 0 at input of this op amp 
why the reason is opm is having very high input impedance and based on this consideration see here i1 current that is happening like this where this branch current is zero so we can have one equation here i2 current is happening like this where this branch current is zero because of consideration which we have done and based on this two equation now we need to resolve vn and vp first and based on vn and vp equations as i have explained you we can say vn is equals to vp and then you can substitute the value of i1 and i2 i2 and after substituting that you will be having v0 and from v0 we can have other parameters right so this is the basic standard process which you need to follow when you solve questions based on combination of negative and positive feedback i hope it is clear to you you just do practice along with me definitely you can solve these questions easily still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video